Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Horror History Class. I'm Mr. Mac, and today we cover a bit of a modern classic in the slasher genre called Hatchet, Old School American Horror. Now pay attention students, class is in session. Written and directed by lifelong horror fan Adam Green, Hatchet introduced us to the now infamous Victor Crowley in 2006. Victor Crowley is a character created by Adam Green's child brain. No, not the one that he keeps in his jar on his mantle. He made this character out of his head as a kid in summer camp. He told the story to all the other kids in the cabin and they all freaked out and cried. So the camp counselors had to have a conversation with his parents and he was almost sent home from camp for coming up with this character. Good on you, Adam. Scaring children warms all three of my monster hearts. Now, this film was met with so-so reviews from critics, but I agree with the website Bloody Disgusting when they said it is a bloody great ride. And the fans of this film helped to make it reach a huge cult following, spanning three sequels from the muddy swamps of Louisiana. That's where all four of these were shot, actually. At least part of all of these films were shot in Louisiana. Now, if you watch all three of the original Hatchet films in order, you can actually see that they all follow one cohesive storyline. What a concept, Hollywood. A franchise spanning many films and sequels that actually makes sense together as one cohesive story. Not something slashers are particularly known for. Looking at you, Friday the 13th, Halloween, and Nightmare on Elm Street films, get it together. This film sometimes feels like an homage to slashers of the past, but who said that's a bad thing? Cameos by Robert Ingold, Tony Todd, make for another really great fun time. And since they had Kane Hodder playing Victor Crowley in this film, that means they actually quite literally had Freddy Krueger, Candyman, and Jason all in the same film. That's just a classic move. You see what I did there? Because they're all classic characters. Hey look, nobody's making you take this class, students. You can leave anytime you want, you know. Writer and director Adam Green had made it a point to keep CGI out of this film's production because he wanted the effects to remain practical. And they look amazing. The way it should be, people. He even had actors fill their mouths with fake vomit and throw it up on screen. Yeah, fake vomit. Way to go, Adam. Honestly, Hatchet is amazing to me. The practical gore effects just warm my black monster soul. And this film has a certain magic quality about it that most films just don't have. It's a thumbs up for me. And keep an eye out for all the cameos. Even the director put himself in here as a short cameo. Go check it out. Now class, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on what films you would like to study next. See you all next time. Class dismissed!